Hey guys, it's your girl Emma here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys five books that have surprisingly made me a better project manager. These are nonfiction books that I've picked up usually through the library or other various resources. And in reading them and enjoying the content, I've been able to take away key tidbits, pieces of information, stories that have helped me become a better project manager. These books make a great present as we go into the Christmas season if you're looking to give a good gift to someone in your life who's career oriented. And these aren't just books for project managers. Honestly, these are books for anyone. And before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you to all my channel members. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member, memberships start at just $2.99. And as always, guys, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button to join our network. That's totally free. And give this video a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first book that I want to share with you guys is called I Know How She Does It by Laura Vanderkam. I actually have this book. I have this book in my library. This was actually recommended to me by a friend of mine. If you didn't know, Laura Vanderkam is an author. Her research focuses primarily on productivity. If you're looking for some insight on how to prioritize family and working, how you can balance those two things, tactical strategies that can actually help you be happier and more fulfilled both in your career and your personal life, then this book is absolutely for you. What I really like about it is it's not just theory. She really breaks down the different elements of your life, tangible tips that you can implement. Now, of course, the book is called I Know How She Does It, but if you're a man, if you're a dude, and you also have a family, like no reason not to buy this book, read it, enjoy it, and see what key takeaways there are for you. The I second book that I have for you guys might be a little surprising. It's called I Will Teach You To Be Rich. Now, if you haven't heard of this book, it's by Remit Sethi, and I have to say, it is hilarious. Yes, it's a book all about how to set up your financial systems in your personal life, how to manage your money, and while you might be thinking, Emma, how is a book about budgeting gonna make me a better project manager? This is a personal book about personal financial management. But here's the thing. I found for myself when I was able to take control of my own personal finances that I was able to be a better employee, get farther in my career. I wasn't as worried all the time about what would happen if I lost my job and I didn't have an additional cognitive load or burden of being worried about my finances. If you have any sort of financial resolutions for the new year, if you're looking for an opportunity to revamp your own personal finances, or honestly, if you just want a good chuckle, because Remit is actually really hilarious, then I would go ahead and read this book, I Will Teach You To Be Rich. The third book that I've read that really had a meaningful impact on me as a project manager and I took into my business and personal life is called The Checklist Manifesto. This is by Atoka Wande, and he is a surgeon, very well respected. He's written quite a few books at this point. He has an excellent writing style, even though it's nonfiction. In this book, he talks a lot about how you can use checklists in business and medical situations in order to improve outcomes and how something as simple as a checklist can actually improve our efficacy. The way he writes and the examples he uses though really have a personal impact and definitely had a personal impact on me and it's something that I haven't forgotten. And so now, even on a day-to-day -day basis, as I go through my jobs, I carry with me this understanding that using checklists is important and here's why. So if you're looking for a really fascinating read, then the Checklist Manifesto is probably for you. The fourth book that I want to share with you guys is another Laura Vanderkamp book. And in fact, this was the first Laura Vanderkamp book that I read, and it's called What the Most Successful People Do in the Morning. In this book, she talks a lot about time logging, and essentially she talks through the exercise that she recommends most professionals do in their lives, going through the action of actually logging all of your time for two weeks, and reflecting on how you're using your time, how you want to be using your time, and what changes you can instigate to better be spending your time with your priorities in life. Then she talks about the fact that she's actually worked on thousands of these time logs with readers and with participants and essentially provided some key tips for what she thinks the most successful people is defined by people who are happy with themselves and their lives do in the morning and how they make the most use of their mornings. This book is really short, guys, so it's an easy read if you're not a big reader. In addition, this is a great book to give someone who's really big into New Year's resolutions. This will give you some ideas for habits you might want to focus on to make the most of your own mornings. 
And the fifth book I wanted to share with you guys is called Atomic Habits. You may have already heard of it. For me, when I read it, really helped challenge my perspective how I as a PM thought about change and change management. It talks about the fact that habits are hard to break, bad habits, good habits. And part of that is because we don't focus enough on setting up systems to support breaking a bad habit and replacing it with a good one. That's an idea that can be applied to both your personal and your professional life. And to that end, it absolutely has made me a better PM because I think more about how do I set up a system to support people taking the right actions as opposed to preventing people from taking the bad ones or pushing people to take the wrong action or the wrong step. This is part of the reason why you guys hear me talk a lot on this channel about systems and about system management. Those are all five books that have helped me surprisingly become a better project manager. A lot of it is tied to the fact that even though they're nonfiction books, they're ideas and sentiments that can be applied both in my personal and my professional life. And from a personal standpoint, I do, per I do believe that the more fulfilled you are personally, the happier you're also gonna be, the easier it's going to be to execute in your professional life. The last book that you guys probably didn't hear me talk about or reference is called The One Minute Manager. This is a very, very famous management book. It's very popular. It's been translated into a whole lot of languages. And it's a very, very short book. If you guys can see, if this is something you haven't already read, I definitely recommend getting this out of your library or buying the ebook and reading it. You can sit and read it in an afternoon, super quick and easy. And it's just a good book that talks about management models and management principles. And well, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments, what's a book that had a really meaningful impact to you in your professional life? I'm always looking for book recommendations and I really look forward to hearing from you guys. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.